Hey guys, RJ Bell breaking down Giants at Packers. Now look at the title of this video. Can the Giants bounce back versus the Packers? To me, this is what you call a dominant handicapping factor. That before you decide your opinion on this question, the other factors are not as valuable to look at because they all must be looked at through the lens of this dominant factor. So let's think about that. Is the Giants got decimated, some would say, by an amazing comeback by the Eagles last week? We know that there's a lot of talk about Coughlin being gone. We know it's just human nature that it's going to be very difficult to recover from that. If they're able to, let's think about that scenario. Coughlin's always done well with adversity over the years. I'm not saying he's going to this time, but let's say he does. Now all of a sudden the stats matter. The fact that Giants can run the ball, and you know maybe uh, the fact that Rodgers might not be 100%. Those all matter. If they can't, if this is a team in disarray, then that's all that matters. Is that this is a team in disarray? They're not going to perform up to expectations. None of the other factors really matter. You're going to play the Packers if you believe that. And if you don't believe it, then the question is, is there value on the Giants? So I'm not going to give you that answer. My gut feeling is the Giants are in trouble here psychologically. Um, but that's a gut feeling, probably one I'm not willing to bet on. But you as the handicapper has to decide, and again, as a dominant factor is, will the Giants be anywhere close to 100%? Because if you say no to that, Nothing else you could say makes you want to bet the Giants here. So that's the key dominant factor. Now, let's talk about some other factors, assuming that you do think the Giants are going to come to play. They're a really good road team. They've actually covered 34 of 50 games. So 34 and 16 ATS as a road team. In the NFL, that's outstanding and really something. And the Giants don't play as well at home. Uh, relatively at all. So really the Giants are a play on on the road, all things equal. Number two, the Giants are looking to run the ball. I think there's little doubt about that. And the Packers have given up 117 yards a game against the run. I'm not so sure that if, and again, that, that dominant factor, if the Giants come to play, my feeling is they're going to be able to run the ball effectively. Lastly, Rodgers is a quarterback off his second concussion. And yeah, you might be clear to play, you might be able to play, but are you losing 5 or 10%? A lot of times quarterbacks that first game back don't do quite as well. And if so, if he's 5 or 10% less effective, what does that mean for the game? So throwing out some, some of the smaller factors, but to me there's one question that guides you here as a handicapper. Answer it, and you've probably got the side you like in this game. All right, enjoy the game. Be back with more videos.